is increasing evidence emerging around the long-term consequences of playing contact sport. Um, but there's been very little evidence gathered around rugby players. Two relatively small studies um, have taken place recently. So this study is being designed to fill that knowledge gap and for rugby to get a better understanding of the medium and long-term consequences of playing rugby. And in particular, the potential effect of concussion or head injury on brain health. This study is a face-to-face -face evaluation, taking about an hour and a half, looking at physical and cognitive capacity in approximately 200 over 50-year-old rugby players who've previously been recruited into another study looking at general health. Participants will be offered either an assessment at home or to come into a centre um, and they'll be examined by a research assistant who will test their grip strength, ability to get out of a chair so many times in a certain length of time, their walking speed, so markers of general health, as well as a range of tests of their cognitive function, their memory, their numerical um, skills, their verbal reasoning, their attention, as well as blood and urine tests. So a very comprehensive set of tests that are used in standard research practice. Rugby, I would like to think amongst contact and collision sports, is recognised as currently leading around the four R's, the importance of recognising and removing and allowing adequate time for recover and return. What this study will do is it will show rugby's commitment to going beyond that and starting to explore the potential medium and long-term consequences of playing the game, particularly from a brain health perspective. This study wouldn't have been possible without the generosity of the Drake Foundation and also the participation of the universities, London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, University College London and Oxford University who have collaborated in the study.